Okay, this Honda four stroke is a three cylinder engine and it has three individual carburetors. So one thing we're going to do in winterizing this motor is we're going to actually drain the three float bowls of any remaining fuel that's in them. On each of them, you'll see that there is a small tube sticking out and a corresponding screw that you can loosen and will cause the contents of the float bowl to empty out of that tube. So there's one here and then This one has one back there. Matter of fact, on this lower one, you can actually see that there's a small plastic tube sticking off of there. This plastic tube is currently routed out here, out of a little drain that exits the side of the motor. We're not going to be dumping fuel down there, but we will be using the tube. And we got. All right, what I'm going to do is borrow this tube now, we'll pull it out of the bottom, pop it off. And you can actually see there was a little drip, so a tiny amount of fuel was in that tube. Not enough to run out. And we want to fish it in here and pop it onto the second carburetor. It's flowing downhill. Put our trusty vodka bottle there. And open the sensor. Final one here. Make sure that tube is going downhill. Gravity. That's pretty much all I expected. Turn this hose tube back to where it belongs. Got a little bit. Okay, the next thing I wanna do is drain the fuel out of this fuel water separator. But because I don't want it siphoning continuously from the tank, First thing I want to do is actually disconnect the fuel inlet hose, at least temporarily. So you can see there, marked outlet, inlet. And this will probably be stuck on there pretty good. I might need a pair of pliers actually, but let's give it a whirl. Loosen up the bond of the hose from the bung there. Barb. 
the hose barb. And this will probably rip. So I might just cut it off. And yeah, it's already ripped off. Alright, so much for that. I've got a bowl here. should drain this bowl here without siphoning because obviously it's no longer connected to a fuel tank. You can see the level going down here. Awesome. Now just take it outside here and I'm going to just dump it in the fuel tank. Easy as pie. Okay, so this little bit here, I'm going to slice that. There we go. Cut the head off, no problem. this it's actually cut straight enough for my liking no worse than that make sure your hose clamp is on there otherwise you have to take it off and reposition it screwdriver Dandy fuel gauge. It is basically measured from bottom to F is full and it works for these tanks specifically. And then just so I know that I'm all the way at the bottom, I have the distance between full, the top of the tank anyway, and the cap. That way I know I'm not jammed up on something and it's actually all the way down. I stick this tank. Dry as a bone, completely up. So I don't have to worry about this one. This is a starboard tank that already has fuel in it, and I've been dumping my fuel in here from the fuel water separator. Stick my handy dandy fuel gauge. Stick the tank on the bottom. And it tells me we are three quarters full. So 15 gallon tank, three quarters of that is um, 11 and a quarter, I think. Well, anyway, I need to put in enough fuel stabilizer for 11 and a quarter gallons. Easy enough. So I'm using Stabil fuel stabilizer for storage. So it says here on the back, that basically one ounce or 30 milliliters in this case treats up to two and a half gallons. So two and a half gallons, 11.25, so 4.5 30 ounce treatments. And I could actually put in a little bit more than that if I want, won't be a problem. So I'll do four servings of 30, one serving of 15, Possibly had more. Just as purchase, this is already almost at 30. Squeeze. 
Look at that. It's like chemistry class. Only better. That's one. That's two. That's three. There's four. And we could do 15 milliliters. I'm gonna just do just a tad extra. There we go. There's our 0.5 plus.